I thought I would offer a little help to clarify this page and all the information on it. It has a lot with subjects and predicates and all this simple and complete stuff. So I'm going to lead you through a few of the uh, answers on this sheet. And I'm going to start by giving you an example sentence. And I'm going to start with a subject there. I have a tiny mouse. All the words that I wrote so far are going to tell you about the subject of the sentence. My sentence is going to be about a tiny mouse. All the words that make up my subject are the complete subject. When you find out more about the tiny mouse, like what he does, that's part of the predicate of the sentence. So I'm going to write a predicate now. All the rest of the sentence, when we have simple sentences like this, one subject, we have a complete predicate that ends the sentence. It tells you about what the mouse did. In this case, he ate the cheese. When I start a page like this, I always look for the two parts, the complete subject and the complete predicate. Then we'll worry about the simple stuff. So look at the first sentence. My grandparents live on an island. My grandparents, that's who the sentence is about. So just like down below, this is my complete subject. It's who my sentence is about. Now what do I find out about my grandparents when I read this? I find out they live on an island. That's my complete predicate. Now do you notice that live on an island is all the way underlined and so is the line that I put. So live on an island is the complete predicate in the sentence. For every sentence on this page you should be able to find a subject and a predicate. Now let's explain what that simple stuff means. Let's go back to my tiny mouse sentence. Do you see how in the tiny mouse I have a few words here, but which word exactly ate the cheese? Did Tiny eat the cheese? No, the mouse ate the cheese. So in my complete subject, that's my simple subject, the thing that actually did the eating of the cheese. Now, what did my tiny mouse do? He didn't cheese. He ate something. The exact thing he does, and usually it's going to be the verb, that's your simple predicate. Your pr simple predicate is part of your complete predicate. Your simple subject is part of your complete subject. So let's try number two. A small boat travels there every hour. Well, I want to think about what or who the sentence is about. It's about a small boat. So there's my complete subject. And Miss Sangren said all of them on this page We'll have a subject and a predicate, so all the rest is my complete predicate. Now when I look inside the subject here, boat gets an underline, but not the whole thing I highlighted, just this word. Just that thing is what's traveling every hour. So I'm not going to write complete subject on the line because a small boat didn't get underlined. The exact thing doing the traveling, just like here, the exact thing doing the eating, is my simple subject. So boat is a simple subject. Let's try one more. The entire ride takes about 20 minutes. The sentence is about the entire ride. That's my complete subject. My complete predicate takes about 20 minutes. Now I'm going to check that underline. Look, all the words in that complete subject are underlined. So the entire ride is the complete subject. So try a few of these on your own. Check yourself with the grammar key that you have. And if you have questions, please, please, please come and see me.